Okay, exciting times. Uh, we've got a little update on the Calliope engine. Alrighty guys, here's where we are at with the uh, with the Calliope project. Uh, the block is finished. This has been a big, big project. I'll go ahead and spin this for you. All of the light weighting is done. So let's uh, let's open up just the block and give you a view of what we got going on. There's a uh, tap hole here, uh, pipe tap, to block these oil galleys. There's three actually, but this one has to stop before it runs into the uh, hole for the distributor. There's a bushing that'll get mounted to this machine face down here with a roll pin to hold the bushing in. This is for the distributor. Uh, if you don't want a distributor, this will be the cam sink. Distributor hole. The hold down for the distributor is in the cylinder head, actually. And there'll be a valley plate right here. These are oil passages. That's bolt down for the valley, valley plate. This also will receive a pipe plug. This is a transfer passage. Runs through this oil galley down to this oil galley. Same thing on this side. Transfers from this main oil galley down to this one. Two of them on this side, one on that side. Probably because this oil galley gets primary feed from from this right here. And the mains. Yeah, pretty cool. There's a cutter comes in, and uh, this is this casting extends upward, very similar to uh, what this looks like here. But of course, you got to have a cutter come in and clearance for the bolts, or I should say the nuts and studs that will exist out here. water over here. So this is how coolant will get from the block to the heads. There's a little uh, flange that bolts on both sides over here. 
dowel hole here, dowel hole here. These holes here, here, and here exist also up here. These exist um, and are going to have to be plugged. But this is uh, the core for the coolant passages, creates this hole. And these are going to have to have machining and tubes put in. Oil drain back. There's your block as it sits right there. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so what does this thing weigh? Well, let's go with mass properties. 78 and a quarter pounds for the block. That's no main caps, that's no sleeves. All right, here's a little demonstration of how we get to where we're at. Basically, I designed this thing as a solid and that at, at some point, it's not finished yet, but like I didn't put the, uh, I didn't put the uh, water pump holes in yet or anything like that, the bolt holes. Um, but at some point, see in the backside, there's nothing put in for light weighting because I need those water passages to run those surfaces up to. But at some point, what we do is we take the scans that Dan had made, and they're right up here. There's one. There's the other water passage scan. And then what I do is I use these to Boolean remove all that solid material that's inside the block. So that's how that is done. And uh, here is one of those wonderful water jacket core scans. You can see right down through here, this would be one of those oil galley passages. Here's your big core plugs, screw and freeze plugs. Those are those locations. And we have reliefs for head bolts. But this would be the venting. Yeah, so this is a negative space. Now, as this was provided, I measured from and we can do that. Measured from bore to bore. And uh, sorry about that. Make it in inches. 4.9 inches. When I got this, those were 4.95. And what I had to do is scale this down to the finished product size. You can see right here is a scale feature. And then I had to connect them because they were separate pieces. If we roll that back, you'll see that there's a gap between them and that would leave a sliver of material when we Boolean remove this. So I just added that material in there. There, it just got bigger. So now if we go through and measure from here to here, 4.95 from bore to bore. So there is a certain amount of shrinkage factor that we had to reduce that by. If 
boom, just got smaller. All right, I wanted to talk a minute about how I get some of these faces in here. And if I could show you the drawing, I might show you a little bit, but uh, if I could show you the drawing, a lot of these faces are not defined by a dimension. So uh, there's two things that, that I do here, and I'll show you both of them. It'd be interesting. Over here, if I show the sketch, you'll see what I do is I just import the sketch right on the face and I draw right on the sketch. I use the sketch to actually draw sketch tools. And we can see some of those drawings right there. The other way that I've been doing this, now this is an architectural pro product. But here you can see the uh, Hozo Designs uh, Neo Ruler. So I really like this guy. And what this will do is create a scale for you. So I can scale the drawing. A lot of times, some of these things, no, I should say a lot of these things are not well defined. So what I do, I can give you a little demonstration here. Um, you can grab a dimension, say, what do we go with? Let's go with right here. This one right here says 5.80. Basically, there's a, a tolerance in there, upper and lower limit, but it's 5.80. I can set this thing right on the line. And let's move this over so you can see right there. I'll set it right on the line and just move this over right there. 5.80, basically. I mean, we're, we're within a tenth. Yeah, it's right on. So that's, that's how I do this. You can create this scale, and this, this just so happens to be what I printed off here, 1 to 1.33 scale. So uh, basically you just move it over and you enter 5.8 in here, and it creates a scale for you, a custom scale. So then I can go up and I can measure things like the distance from like outer bolt to outer bolt on the four bolt cap. Just slide this over and I see 7.27, probably closer to right there. So we know that's 7.25. Pretty cool. Anyways, that's, that's what I do. This thing can uh, also be used like a caliper. It's got attachments on the end. Um, so you can use it as a straight caliper. You can do math on this thing, all kinds of things. But it's primarily, like I said, architectural. This is an architectural drawing, basically, right? So if I got a scan, say, right there, 3.04. So we'll move this guy over so you can see it. Start right there. Oops. Start right there. And we go over to the dot. 3.04. I thought it'd be interesting to show you how much goes into one of these models. Now this, this is before the Boolean remove. Um, so I'd already done a bunch of work with creating surfaces off of the water jacket cores that I brought in, oriented in the proper space, and then built deck surfaces and dropped them in, built an oil pan rail, dropped them in, and then I combined everything and then just started adding material to tie it all together. So it's one solid body. But look at my feature tree how much is in here. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. A lot of fillets. There's some drafting going on. 
That's the most complex part that I've ever done. And then here's the finished part again. Let's look at the feature tree. This is after we did the Boolean remove. We start basically all over from scratch again with our feature tree. And it's still pretty big. This is mostly just the front and the back of the block and tidying up a few things. And there she is. All right, so there we go. Uh, update on the Calliope engine project. Block is done. So now we've got the oil pan front timing cover and the block. I've also done the two pickup tubes inside the oil pan. Um, I don't know what's next, maybe the cylinder heads, but we'll see. I'm trying to have Dan maybe scan his existing cylinder head for me. Uh, that would eliminate a lot of this crazy tedious surfacing work. Uh, I could just concentrate on the machine surfaces then. Uh, but yeah, um, let me know if there's anything more anyone would like to see in greater detail on my processes or how this thing is built. Um, but yeah, uh, trying to trying to get some swag together for my for my followers, uh, t-shirts, maybe hats, and maybe uh, maybe I can even work out how to 3D print one of these things and offer that as a piece that people can can buy. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, Thanks for, thanks for viewing, uh, stay tuned, more coming, and uh, it's a pretty exciting project. Like and share, and uh, make sure you share. Subscribe as well. It helps uh, the channel build, and uh, we're monetized now, big deal. Got almost 2,000 followers, subscribers, uh, and uh, not making any money yet, but, uh, but we'd like to get to that point where it makes sense to do a lot of these videos. Anyways, stay tuned, more cool stuff coming.